welcome, and thanks for joining us at EMII.com. I'm Ananya Bhatia with your hedge fund headlines. Today's Friday, December 4th, 2009. Hedge fund manager Paolo Pellegrini is planning to return to the PSQR capital strategy. According to the Wall Street Journal, he wants to return to the strategy he used at Paulson & Company, which delivered a cumulative 130% return since its launch. Currently, Pellegrini is the only investor in the fund, which is closed to investors in funds managed by Paulson & Company, although it will open in the beginning of the year. The fund is planning to short United States mortgage-backed securities and to short the U.S. dollar via investments in commodities and commodity-related currencies. China Investment Corporation, or the CIC, has offered to invest about 800 million euros in the private equity fund of Apex Partners. According to Financial Times, Apex has followed investors to shift about 800 million euros of unfunded commitments to the Chinese Sovereign Wealth Fund. CIC, which may also buy 2.3 percent of Apex Partners Management Company, has made the deal conditional on receiving about 350 million euros of commitments. London-based Apex has raised 11.2 billion euros two years ago for the Apex Europe 7 fund and has already invested almost half of it. And in more hedge fund news, Minnesota businessman Tom Petters has been found guilty of operating a $3.65 billion Ponzi scheme. According to, the Wall, according to the Wall Street Journal, a jury found him to be guilty of all 20 counts of, of wire fraud, mail fraud, money laundering, and conspiracy. Petters was charged with promising big returns to investors who let money to his Petters company to buy surplus merchandise, then resell it to big box retailers such as Walmart and Costco, but no such transactions took place and instead, profits funded Petters' extravagant lifestyle. The Russell has secured the approval of London-based hedge fund Bluecrest Capital Management on its $7.4 billion debt restructuring proposal. According to the Wall Street Journal, the Russian aluminum major is seeking to revamp $7.4 billion in debt in over 70 international banks. The recurring, structure, the recurring deal will help the aluminum major repay $16 billion in debt. The completion of the restructuring process could back the company's planned initial public offering of stock, which Russell expects to hold in Hong Kong by the end of December 2009. And that rounds out today's hedge fund headlines. Thanks for joining us at EMII.com. For more details on these stories and much more, click onto our hedge funds channel online and read the full stories and latest developments. <laughs>